Hello friends, in story time at Kadambavanam, today we will see the story of Anaya Nayanar, one of the 63 Nayanmars who attained heavenly abode through his music. In the fertile country of Mel Malanadu, there was the small town of Tirumangalam which adorned the Mel Malanadu as a piece of jewellery. In this Tirumangalam, in the tribe of herdsmen, Idayarkulam, there lived Anayanar. His job every day was to take his cattle to the pastoral lands, that is the Mullai region, and tender them and look after them as they grazed. Every day he did this with great joy and protected his herds from the wild animals that may come there. And while doing this, he had the habit of playing on his flute. The flute, which is known as Vangiyam in Tamil, is a very ancient instrument original to this part of the country, made from the bamboo, where people observed the wind that blew through bamboos that had holes in them made by the beetles in the forest. That is how the flute came about. So Anayanar was a master in playing the flute and Sekhidar, while describing his dexterity, short of a music lesson he delivers, recreating all the nuances involved in the Tamil pan music. Thus playing the Mullai pan that was characteristic of that region of the Tamil country, he was tending to his cattle. Such was the natural beauty that surrounded the place that Sekhira describes it so beautifully with the beetles humming about, the honeybees buzzing around, the peacocks dancing and singing, the sky opened up with dark clouds that looked as if a lady were to come on to the earth from the skies and during this cool breezy evening in the Mullai region, Anayanar saw a large tree which was the Kondre tree. As soon as he saw the Kondre which is the golden shower tree with its yellow flowers hanging in uh, uh, continuation, he was reminded of his beloved lord as the Kondre flower was Lord Shiva's favourite flower. As soon as he thought of his Lord, he forgot himself and started playing divine melodies on his flute. And do you know what he played? He played the Namachivaya mantra, that is the Pangjatsharam, on his flute. Hearing this divine melody, the cattle that were grazing there stopped grazing. The calves that were drinking milk from their mother's udders stopped drinking milk. The, uh, the peacocks stopped dancing. The birds stopped chirping and came there. All the wild animals such as the deer all gathered around Anaya Nayanar and the other herdsmen also stopped doing their job and gathered around him. Soon this divine music reached the heavens and the dancing ladies and the uh, devas and other holy beings in the skies too came down. In this beautiful picturesque setting where the powerful gods and the common herdsmen were standing shoulder to shoulder, Sekira writes that even the animals forgot their strengths and weaknesses and there from the trees the snakes came slithering down and fell on the peacocks that were standing below. On one side elephants and lions were standing together. On the other side, the deers were standing lost in trance next to their arch enemy, the tigers. In this situation, even the river that was flowing through the forest and the huge waterfalls that were falling there became very silent. The air and the wind stopped and even the leaves stopped rustling. Everything came to a standstill. And this divine music of Anayanayanar filled the heavens and reached the ears of his beloved Lord. Entranced by the Panjacharam that emanated from Anaya's flute, 
Lord Shiva came down from the heavens. And so pleased was he with Anayanayanar that he blessed him and made him come to the heavens with his flute and reside by his side, forever playing his divine melody. Thus, Anayanayanar was granted the heavens through his divine music. This is the story of one of the 63 Nayanmars. Next time, we will meet with yet another story from the Periyaburanam. Vanakkam.